uh, get our next set of games uh, some of them you might recognize from previous videos um, so in this uh, rack that I've got it's towards the start of the game um, I kept uh, ME on my rack after playing Kauri, K-A-U-R-I um, there were other things I could have played I was happy with that because that particular move didn't open up much and it turns out if I had left like an A on here my opponent would have got like 40 or 50 points for his X um, so I drew pretty badly um, uh, and so my I've, I've got a couple options um, I've got things like playing Cavell here um, but that leaves me with F M E and these letters if I'm intending to get a bonus next turn um, these letters are pretty they, they don't work well together um, we'd call them non-synergistic letters the F for example like an F and an L together they actually work to get they actually work alright a V and an E work okay together um, so if I wanted V E L if I could somehow get get rid of these that would be okay um, uh, but in in terms of um, uh, in terms of other choices I actually don't have that many um, I could play like f I, th I think I can play no I can't play Fleem um, I think Fleem here I could play it's not bad you know what it is because okay so there aren't many scoring options for my particular rack um, I can't really capitalize off this spot because I don't have anything to go under the eye um, ooh, I have Cavell as well um, oh so just to confirm Cavell is good and Cavell is good uh, other words that I'm looking at are Fleem um, so I think Fleem's probably the best. Uh, if I could somehow play like M, leave M E on my rack, that would be good again. Um, F E on my rack, that's also good. Uh, but at the moment, it's yeah, there's not that much that I can score with. So Cavell here, F E M, it's okay. Um, Twenty four. Uh, Fleem 20 uh, and it's a much better leave for next turn so that F and that M don't actually work on the board if they did not with the letters I have at the moment if they did I'd be all over it but um, I'm not going to do that so I'm just going to go ahead and play Fleem and I picked OK I picked a B which doesn't really work with the V um, but hopefully uh, there's things like uh, an able word um, so maybe next turn depending on what my opponent plays I'll be able to uh, look at that if you'll notice the board there's not many scoring opportunities so even if they have a high ladder they're gonna have to get it here or they're gonna have to come down here somehow um, and expend a bunch of vowels and possibly destroy their rack. So, I, and and now this turn, next turn, I have things like Kevel down here, which I could play. But we'll we'll see what happens in the in the next couple of racks. Next game. Oh uh, yeah, I know there's a there is a bonus on my rack, um, but I don't think I can play it. Um, you can go ahead and pause the video if you want to find it. So, the the word that I'm thinking of, Girol. Oops. Um, I can't really think of anything I can play. Long. Want to? It's almost like you want to play something here. And rolling. How about? Oh, so close, hey? So I can almost play enrolling, but I've got just not enough spot enrolling. So yeah, that would have been an awesome nine. Unfortunately, gonna miss out. Um, when you see things like that, don't be sad that you can 
that you weren't able to play it because if you lament the things you never you were never able to play, you'd be lamenting things for the entire game. Uh, you'd every single game you ever played, you'd lament things. Um, just congratulate yourself that you did actually find it because that's an achievement. And then hope that next time you see something amazing uh, that you'll be able to get it down. Um, I'm gonna go with. It's fairly open, uh, so it's a fairly close game. I'm only 16 points ahead. Um, okay, my opponents play the KOA there. Doesn't really. So I think my last my last record was Achini uh, here. I think I had an Li. I think I left Lig on my rank. No, I left Rig on my rank. Uh, and then I picked this. So it was a pretty. It was okay. It was okay. And as you saw, I actually got a bonus uh, but was not able to play it um, yeah I I don't know what to play here so I'm gonna keep the best there's an ink there's a G the N here and the N works really well with um, uh, N works really well with the IG we might be able to capitalize it on next turn I'm thinking of um, playing Oh, there's a few things I can play. So I could play Doll, and that's 15. Or I could play Gold, and that's 18. And this is kind of kinder, because the G, even though it's good if you get an N, if you get an N, the L actually is a, a superior letter to keep with this kind of rack, just because of what you're going to uh, pick up next turn. This is also a much more dangerous spot, because... Um, heavy letters can go here so I think the X is at, is still out so my, my opponent could have something like flax you know FLAX and they're gonna score a lot so I'm actually gonna take that spot for strategy um, and then I hope that I get a happy face okay he growled at me which means I probably I might have I might have missed something let's have a quick look No, um, it probably, now this will growl at you if, even if you make um, good decisions, right? Uh, it doesn't understand like strategy, it doesn't go for strategy, it doesn't look at the best move on the board, it just looks at the highest scoring move on the board. Um, and I'm, ha I'm happy with ha how this went. If I had an N now, Lemurine, can't quite get it down. Um, uh, there might be an earlier delirium. Ooh. So no, no, that's not how you spell delirium. I want to spell it this way, and it's not right, right? <laughs> anyway, that's that's the correct correct spelling. Um, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what happens next turn. Maybe my opponent opens up, and I can play my bonus. Uh, this one's a fairly should be a fairly easy uh, find. Um, I just play aviation. So um, one thing to note on the board: not many E's have really been played at this point. So there's lots of them in the bag, which probably means this board's going to turn into a huge bonus fest later. Um, so I had the option last turn to play aviation either here or here. I chose to keep it here for five less points just because this is really, really dangerous. A really, really dangerous spot. But if I had, I would have had treating down the uh, triple line. And I can't play that now. So that's okay. Um, my opponent was, my opponent, I don't know what my opponent would have had. Um, so they chose to play sedation over here. Um, well, see if you can find a, a bonus before I can. Um, now things that I'm thinking of at the moment, I'm trying to play through the L and get a double double here because this is a very valuable spot. These tiles don't aren't going to score much anyway. 
but if I can get a if I can get a double double, it'll be great. Uh, this does take an S in the hulls. HLS. And obviously sedation does take an S, but I can't think of anything with the S. Uh, hmm. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, so I found a bonus, and I found one through the L. So go ahead, and if you want to pause the video and think about it, but I'll give you five more seconds. Okay, the word is tailgate. I'm going to play. I don't really need to think of anything else. If, if I could think of something with an S, which I can't at this stage, then... I might consider playing it like down here because it would still score as much. Um, that's all. Okay, next turn. Okay, now in this kind of a rack, lower rank players are usually they they go, oh, the S is valuable. I'm going to hold on to the S and try and play like FAE. That's wrong. S's is don't increase in value so an S is kind of worth like 20 or 30 points when it's on your rack right it's because it's really easy to make a bonus or really easy to make a word like here safe and that's probably what I'm going to play now I'll just explain what I'm doing um, so lower rank players will hold on to an S because they see it as being valuable right uh, yeah and it is it is but when it's two s's it's not like it increases in value it doesn't increase it's it's just like any other letter but in this case it's a letter that's doubled so it becomes almost as valuable as holding like double l like double l works together right but why like it's it's great but it you only sort of keep it if you have to um, so yeah, there's there's a few options here that I'm looking at. Um, like I'd, it'd, it'd be nice to capitalize on the things, and you you know you get this justification where you say, oh, but I can play like F A, and then I leave this, and yes, you can. That's great, fantastic. Uh, but the, the rank you're leaving isn't isn't that great. Um, you've got an S spot here for next turn. The board's open. Don't worry about this. You might even be able to play through this eye next turn. You're you're actually looking to play a bonus next turn. So I like this move. Awesome. So now I've got all uh, individual tiles, and it's having a growl at me. I don't know why. Go away. Okay. So it's it's growling at me, and I'm not sure why. Um, maybe I missed something. Um, I don't think so, because usually that um, that face talks about that face comes when you've missed uh, something, and it's a little it's a little bit like it could have just been F, the fact that I missed I missed FAS um, fars there, which was okay. It scored more, but it wasn't as good a move. Um, so it actually scored like f at least four points more, but it was a it was a less uh, valuable move than actually playing here, because this balanced your rack better. And because I balanced my rack, I was then I then get rewarded for with these tiles. Now if I had two S's on this rack, this ain't going anywhere. Um, I mean, if I'd had like F A E A S E, and I picked that like O and a Z, it's not go it's not a it's not a good move. So keeping individual tiles, separate tiles, EAS, um, undouble undoubling my tiles, um, I this is this is a really good rack. I haven't seen anything that I'm gonna play yet, yet but 
there is there are options. There are really easy options for the Z. Um, oh yeah, there's seventy points on the on the board, and if you can find it, good on you. Um, there might even be a, a bonus. Uh, so instantly, Zuiel. Uh, and I'd play the L so my opponent can't score off the Z. You might think, oh, but you're leaving this in. Meh, doesn't really matter. Or you're leaving this. I'm giving an extra three points. But they might have the L. In fact, let's just have a quick look. It's unlikely they'll have the L, but pl pl leaving this on your rack is... L and you get an extra two points. So you don't want to leave L and S on your rack because it limits the probabilities of getting a vowel. So Zuliel's probably going to be my next play um, and if my opponent blocks that spot I'm going to play Les here. So I've, I'm pretty unstoppable. Do I have a, uh, anything there? No. So you see I just came up with a common suffix here. Um, so that should help me find a bonus if there is one and I can't see anything there. Um, yeah, so that's looking pretty good next turn. Uh, final game for today. Uh, huh. So my opponent's done an awesome move. Um, um, my opponent's done an awesome move and they've had the rack uh, A-T-O-I-S-G and they had a blank, of course, that always helps. And uh, what does he say? Yeah, so he's really happy that he actually found it. Um, and good on him. So, um, he's uh, then played through this existing IN, and yeah, our thing. So that's really good for him. Not good for me, because it means that now I have to catch up somehow um, with my awful, awful rack. Um, but, but yeah, that, those are, those are plays that, you know, especially if it's in a tournament, you don't care that your opponents finds them because it's awesome. Uh, I can't remember, I don't think this is right. Uh, so, me, me knows good, menu, of course, is good, E, G. So, just to uh, explain, I'm playing here, I'm looking for hooks here. And the ones that are on the rack, I'm pretty sure M E N A is incorrect. Yeah, so if I can play the U here, that that's uh yeah, yeah. So um there's a there's a word there that I think is the best move on the board for my rack. Um because it keeps the board open. It plays into I'm playing into this spot. Other things that I'm looking at. So you can think about that while I explain my uh, my other thoughts on the board. Um, other things that you can look at, like you might be tempted to play LAH here, but then what are you doing next turn? How are you going to catch up? You're 80 points behind. You need a bonus. So um, similarly, if you were to play like Hug, ugh, um, it doesn't do anything for for you. Um, you could play hello. Uh, also, you could play hello. So hello and hello uh, are they're acceptable. It's hard to play on this. I prefer this word ULVA. Scores more, leaves a board open. HAL not the best tiles to leave on your rack, but <laughs> what else have I got? I don't really have anything else, um, so I'm going to go ahead and play that. Ugh. Oh well. So I picked garbage. I I won't be able to do anything with that. Um, this thing's like waken. So so next turn. So when I mean there's nothing I can do, even though you go, oh well, I mean, you say he's can't do anything, but uh, he's scoring 37. Uh, I can't score a bonus, which is kind of what I really, really need. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, we'll watch. We'll watch this space. We'll see how we go. 
I can't really think of any uh, like life saving moves, but they, you know, because I'm gonna need to get rid of this, the W, the W at least, and the K. Hopefully, and, and you know, maybe I can uh, capitalize on my score, get 50 points, and then I'm actually back in the game. Things even like core, ooh, core. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. So we'll we'll see what happens the next turn.